thank you so much. Ms. Sabe Lumbuku, I'm responsible for marketing and communications within the Transport Education Training Authority, that is TITA. Awesome. So um, we recently had the privilege at Social TV to attend a launch at, at Orange Farm, um, where you are addressing um, accident prevention. Can you tell us why did you specifically choose Orange Farm and maybe just please unpack a bit that initiative? Okay, thank you so much. Um, I think what is key for maybe our viewers is just to understand that the Transport Education Training Authority as a uh, for skills development and training within the transport sector has a mandate, um, you know, to facilitate skills development and training and over and above that projects as road safety initiatives, they become key because our beneficiaries and those that affiliate within um, the transport sector are affected by either the road fatalities, the accidents and the deaths that you see from time to time, that is for our pedestrians. Mm -hmm. Now for us to choose um, Orange Farm, especially for this project, it is that um, in May, if you remember, there was a big event that we were involved in that we funded as, as TITA, which was Empower Youth. Uh, in fact, Empower Transformation Youth, yes. which was seeking to unbundle opportunities for young people, those that are looking for employment, those that are looking for further training, skills development, mm -hmm. that companies and other institutions can then look at these and bring tangentes to these communities. So that is what has uh, influenced us to target Orange Farm. It's mainly to fulfill the promise that we would have made um, mm. during that week, that transformation week. Interesting. So we then target them with this specific. Okay. Okay. And, um, Mr. Mbogo, I do know that this is, um, it's, a, it's a program that's running till September. So it's approximately three months. Um, what exactly will That's be right. what what exactly will be happening in those three months? Yeah, basically the the program in itself it's looking at training uh, um, as much as we do um, awareness. Uh, in many instances, this specific program would focus on, on on training. So this will be a training then that is targeted at these young people from Orange Farm. So the duration of the program, it is three months because that is what the training would then require. And then to ensure that these young people that are being trained are also afforded an opportunity to practice that which they, um, you know, that is why we have then the three months buffer to ensure that after then the training, for instance, we're talking about jaywalking, mm. uh, the dangerous behavior on the roads, defensive walking, so all of those then they need to be um, you know put into practice to ensure that um, they are able then to discharge the responsibilities that are bestowed on them post the training. Mm. And um, is there as Tita is is there like plans to, to maybe like I don't know employ them or maybe in the form of internships or something afterwards? Will they be employable? Can they can they like become professionals after that training? Yeah, ba basically, because this is training that is done, um, you know, in partnership with various stakeholders that actually offer the services. Mm. For instance, the Gauteng Department of Community Safety, Johannesburg Metropolis Department, Emergency Services, um, that is City of Johannesburg, and 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 other non-profit organizations, and including Castle Road Safe. These are partners that can easily absorb these should opportunity, uh, opportunities arise. That is why for us, it is important that when we embark on this journey, we have strategic partners only present the, 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 the training in theoretical form, but mm -hmm. also in a practical sense, but over and above that, afford these young people a fair opportunity to then be absorbed or employed by these institutions. All right, that's, that's, that's fantastic. And which other initiatives are you currently working on or that you have done previously as TITA? 
Um, as mentioned earlier, um, I mentioned the the transformation week, which was targeted to empower the youth of Orange Farm mm. that we had towards the end of, of, of May. Yeah. Um, that had uh, different elements where we were bringing in different partners that are going to talk to different opportunities that are very available for young people for either startup business, employment, training and development. All of those then were shared. Hence, you have these initiatives that we are talking about today, wherein we are bringing programs to Orange Farm to ensure that uh, we sustain or we, we activate the which we had promised. But over and above, in terms of our road safety campaigns, they, they, they run across the country, um, different themes that we normally use to ensure that we entice communities to these and then ensure that we sort of mob communities around these campaigns or around issues of road safety or safety in general. So you'd have Shokomela that is run with the, you know, the associate, taxi associations in different in case at end. So yeah. you, you can imagine the magnitude uh, of, of safety uh, on our roads, safety on our railways, safety on, you know, in all the aspects that involve uh, transport. This is how we have coined this in our strategy that we would then embark on different programs to ensure that we either mitigate the risk, create the necessary awareness and ensure that our people are familiar with what they need when they are um, either out there using the roads or yeah. the rails okay all right that's that's amazing um i think that's the end of our conversation for now 